Hi folks, Steve here at Voss Runners. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2019 Winnebago Mini Plus Model 27 BHSS. It's a family unit, 32 foot overall length, that's including the tongue, and it weighs 6,740 pounds. A great little trailer, top quality Winnebago, hard to beat. Uh, incredible front cap as you can see, very well equipped, so let's take a, a closer look at all the equipment this thing has. At the front we have an electric tongue jacks. They'll come with uh, two 30 pounder propane tanks. There is a stone guard. Beautiful lighted front cap. Solar panel ready. What Winnebago decided to do is to re-engineer the uh, frame underneath to allow more height in the storage. It gives us a very large access to under the bed at the front. Also, all of our controls are right here on the inside. So your water connection, you got a spray port, winterizing valve, battery disconnect, cable satellite hookups, and a power outlets. Uh, our underbelly is fully enclosed and heated. Also, our jacks are electric with individual motor and switch. Double wiper seals on all the slide out. Beautiful construction. Uh, slam latch handles on the exterior compartments. They're actually metal or aluminum. They have they have the incorporated magnetic holders as well, rain gutters and spout extension, all of our exterior gel coated, they're also colored, a few colors to choose from. Top quality, it does not get any better. This is what the industry has the best to offer. Uh, around this side, twenty foot haunting electrical with LED lights, outside speakers. Aluminum wheels, radial tires, nitro fields, upgraded fenders, new door, self-closing screen door, and friction hinge, so you don't need to tie it up, it'll stay in place. Large foldable entry handle, triple step, aluminum tread, the big fan. Outside kitchen with a two burner stove, a fridge. It's a little smaller here, so they didn't provide you with a sink, but they added an extra space port right here. So it does the trick. There's a, an LED light, there's a power outlet in here as well. At the back, roof ladder, 10 gallon electrical gas water heater, your spare tire, detachable power cord. It's ready for a backup camera. Around the corner here, more switches, your black tank flush. We have two gray tanks on this trailer all coming out from the same outlet. Folks, awesome, it's not missing anything on the outside. Let's take a look inside. I'll start at the front, right here by the entrance door, one of the features I really like. This little net, it's super deep, no problem putting some uh, kid's bike helmet there. A couple of uh, hooks here for your coat. And another cabinet right here, very deep as well. Shoes and sandals and stuff like that. Uh, in command system, so the whole trailer is, or ele anything electrical on this trailer can be controlled through this little monitor here. Or if you want through your cell phone, all you need to do is to download an app. It's pretty nice. Um, there's the brain for the in command system. Fireplace, big cubby hole. There's another one here with a power outlet and a USB outlet. AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth USB auxiliary, 32 inch flat screen TV. Moving towards the front, 8 cubic feet fridge. There is a little bit of storage below it. Pots and pan drawer. All of our drawers are plywood made, ball bearing hardware, the whole drawer extend. Hard surface countertop. New backsplash this year. Also, a new stove and oven, suburban. It's a very nice unit. I really like the finish on it. Really, really nice. Bifold glass door, again, flush mounted, pretty nice. Range hood vented outside, stainless steel. Microwave, the storage above, they actually installed a shelf in here. It's plenty of storage. Uh, double stainless steel sink, extremely deep, under mounted, uh, installed. Pull out cap. Very nice as well. There's an LED light. There's a big windows to see outside. A little bit more storage underneath the kitchen sink. Around the corner, U-shaped dinette. 
large windows. There's four windows in the slide out. All four of them opens. There is storage underneath the U-shaped dinette. The table will go down and convert into an extra bed. There's a power outlet and a USB outlet on this side and there's another one on the other side. The other side, well, there's uh, an option. It's called a theater seating option. And a little extra storage, cup holder, both of them recline. All of our windows are, or a half pleated shades. It's a pretty nice little unit. One of the features I really like is our roof is also radius. All of the vents for AC are closable as well. The little things that makes a difference. The bunks at the front, or actually I should say at the back, uh, 44 inch wide. All, both of them has their own windows. They're both open. There is a uh, USB outlets and a light again, individual, individual for each bunk. The one at the bottoms goes up, so you have access to the storage underneath. And there is a ladder to get to the top bunk, which is often not the case. The bathroom back here, it's pretty nice. Very large vanity, I'm a big fan. Actually, even the sink stainless steel is also pretty large. There is a decent size uh, medicine cabinet. The light fixture is a nice little touch, pretty dressed up. Uh, towel bars, one, two, nothing's missing. Uh, storage underneath as well. There is two light switch for both light, one for the main light and one for the one above the vanity. Foot flush porcelain toilet. There is a cabinet for linen. A radius shower. Glass stays in. There is a skylight, a shower liner. Incredible. Bathroom, number one, there's, there's nothing. Uh, negative about this room at all. Even towel hooks on the door. Front bedroom 60 by 80 so a true queen size bed. Uh, designer bedspread, designer headboard, there's reading lights, LED reading lights. Pretty nice. Shirt closet on each side. There is gas rod to hold the door up. There is a power outlet and a USB outlet on each side of the bed. There is gas struts underneath this bed as well to help you lift it up to have access to the storage underneath. There is also a spot to mount a TV on the wall if you want and the connections are right here. Two windows that open and a roof vent and there's even a light switch on the wall for the main light. It's a pocket doors, it's a pretty big opening, it's kind of nice. Overall, an incredible little trailer, folks. We do very well with this floor plan, and I think you can see why. One more thing about this one is the whole thing is usable except for access to the front bedroom when the slide is in. So you want to stuff for lunch because you're going somewhere for a family trip and somebody needs to go to the washroom, no problem. You want to whip up together a sandwich for the kids, no problem. You do not need to open the slide. It's an incredible floor plan. Folks, I think we're done it. Thanks for watching.